just as important as extending the solvency of Medicare is the way in which we're doing it. The Affordable Care Act has helped put Medicare on a more stable ground without eliminating a single guaranteed benefit. Instead, it has successfully lowered costs thanks to a wide range of reforms designed to reduce costly medical errors, decrease the number of unnecessary hospital readmissions, eliminate excess payments to Medicare Advantage plans, and crack down on abuse. Thanks in part to those reforms, Medicare spending per beneficiary has grown at an historically low rate of 1.7 percent a year in 2012. It's projected to remain lower than the rate of economic growth over the next decade. Still, we recognize that more work remains to be done. Medicare continues to face considerable challenges, including an aging population. The 2013 Medicare report estimates that the projected depletion of the hospital insurance trust fund will occur two years later than was estimated in last year's report. I think that such an interpretation would be a mistake, and I would say that notwithstanding the fact that I'm one of those who's cautiously optimistic that the recent slowdown in the growth of per capita health spending will continue, uh, it's also not to say that the Affordable Care Act hasn't had a significant uh, impact, somewhere between a third uh, and uh, uh, 75 percent of the slowdown is attributable to the uh, economic difficulties of the last few years. Uh, I think the most careful analyses uh, are those that uh, get a smaller number, uh, say somewhere between a third and a half of the slowdown.